Okay, this is a Keithley 197 meter, and I got it from a seller on eBay who was um, uh, quite uh, patient with um, with me as a customer and, and uh, really delivered. So I just want to give a big uh, thank you to um, the person on eBay. Um, when I received this meter, the the buttons were all wonky and and uh, things weren't behaving quite as expected and so I used this this stuff here called uh, uh, deoxit um, that I got on Amazon to as a contact cleaner so I put it on on each one of these things here and then cycled it uh, a whole bunch of times and finally I got it to a point where it, things are like really uh, unbelievably stable. So right now I have a a uh, 22k ohm resistor, it's a metal film um, resistor, uh, 22k ohms and this is in a, a four wire configuration so um, this and this are they go to the the high you know, the low and high on the on the meter input here and then there's an additional two wires here low and high that are connected here and here so um, so you have an excitation current going through here and then and there's going to be voltage drops um, you know through the cables here and then you have these two here that are sensing apparently the voltage across the resistor um, without any you know with very little almost no current so it gives you a, a, a much more accurate reading of what that resistance is then what I did I got this thing on relative right now so it's just measuring change in any change in the resistance. So right now it's reading 0.00, .00 and sometimes I got a little glitch right there. And what I did is I hit the relative button to do that. So if I hit the, there. Okay, so this is the actual resistance, 21,953.6 ohms. And when I hit the relative, then it, you know, let's see here. It probably glitched on me. 936, okay. Okay, maybe the things are starting to get a little jumpy now. Um, but in any case, um, we could try wiggling that. Wiggling that. And go back to, okay, so 21,000. 953.6 K ohms and there's the relative reading now if I go back to this and I uh, turn on a light so I have this headlamp here that I'm going to use as a heat source And then we're going to turn that on. And now what you see is the resistance is going down. So we have a negative temperature coefficient. So this resistor has a negative temperature coefficient. So as the resistor gets hotter with the LED light shining on it the resistance is going down and I have no idea what the actual temperature of the resistor is right now but it's probably going to be warm to the touch by now now if I turn off the now the resistance is going up again and if you're patient enough it would um, 
go all the way back to um, to zero again. So I'm going to pause this for a second and just to wait for it to, because it's going to be a long time for it to come back down because of the, and get some glitches here and there. Okay, I'm pausing. Okay, it's been about two minutes now, and we're down to two tenths of an ohm, one tenth of an ohm of delta. So, was it Newton's law of cooling or something? So, it takes a long time for it to come back. But the fact is, coming back to within a tenth of an ohm after the heating event, um, I think that's pretty astounding. So this the stability up oh, there it is it went down to zero so the stability of this of this meter is is uh, pretty mind blowing um, once you get the the switches uh, back in shape okay.